this is the truck that I'm running. It's a Ford 8000. It hauls about 11 to 12 ton on it. It's got a cat in it. I'm not sure what the horsepower is. It's a 10 speed, kind of fun to drive. It's been a while since I've been into a truck like this. I used to work on this kind of an operation oh, when we were down, we spent three years in Kansas and I was in a research feedlot where I was responsible for doing the, the feeding of the feedlot there. Um, so it's kind of fun to be back in the back in the seat, back in the saddle again. So that's what this week's video is about, is just some time on the farm running the corn truck. So you can kind of see the field in the background. This is where we've been chopping. This is the largest field. We can make one round Oh, in about an hour, and it probably takes, what, eight loads, ten loads, maybe, to make a round. So we're hauling in about, what are we doing? If we did 25 loads and we got 12 ton to a load, we're hauling in, what, 11, 1,200 ton a day? Does that number sound right? Anyway, it's adding up. They put up, I guess, close to about 5,000 ton of silage a year for two different feedlots that they operate. So anyway, this kind of gives you some of the bird's eye view of where we've been spending most of our time.
back kind of a lull here today the chopper had to go back to the shop i'm not sure what's happened but we've got four trucks running and all four trucks are sitting here kind of on idle right now waiting for things to return so i had a little minute and i thought maybe i'd kind of update you what we're doing we're working for the schlemmer farms here out of fromberg montana so we're hauling in between a thousand and twelve hundred ton of silage a day this might be the last day um, things have been going pretty well until this kind of showed up but it's really kind of fun to work for a farm you know all the farms have their own personality um, the crews that work with them the owners well this is run by it would be the third generation i knew the grandparents of the operator now and his dad and um well the son operates it now the dad and now the grandparents the grandparents are gone i met them back probably 15 some years ago they're really nice folks and they're really fun to work with um, pretty smooth operating and it's kind of the typical farm they're trying to manage expenses as well as manage the income so the chopper uh, we're using is he's he said it's a 98 model, so it's got some time on it, and he sticks uh, a fair bit into it every year to maintain and keep this thing operating. But it's about a million to million three, he said, to replace it, so it's worth uh, kind of keeping it going. So anyway, that's what we're doing this week. I, I should be back in the shop, I think, maybe next week. Um, then I'll get back to hopefully doing the, the typical Friday video and some of these videos of the after work program I think I'll include maybe I'm thinking maybe on a Tuesday um, kind of split some of these oddball things up anyway so just a quick update and um, we'll kind of catch you on the on the comeback when we get back into a normal routine appreciate you following along
Well, I really did enjoy the time out driving this corn truck. It was kind of a nice break from the shop here. You know, all of my after work projects are kind of that way. They give me a mental break and a little change up from concentrating just on wagon work all the time. So I just thought maybe I'd share some of this with you. You know, out of the four trucks, I ended up being the youngest driver. I'm 68. The next one up was 71. The next one was 81. And the fourth driver was 84. So it's kind of an old timers group that were driving this truck, trying to keep this chopper going. Really pleasant. I enjoyed visiting with all of them and enjoyed working with the whole crew. Anyway, I hope to be back a, maybe a little more normal next week. Like I mentioned in this video, I think I'm going to try to put this after work projects up on Tuesday. Uh, it's not a 100% guarantee, but I've got a few of them that I'll put in there. So, well, either keep an eyeball out for them or, you know, if you have your notifications turned on, you'll probably get a notice too that they're up. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.